In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to find the p-value um, using the TCDF function. So this follows with the example that we did in class. If you recall, we were doing a right tail test for a single population mean. And we came up with our test statistic, our, our T-star value of 1.813. So to find the p-value, we're going to use the TCDF function. And what we want to do is we want to go to hit the second button and then choose the VARES button, which above it it says distribution. And then when that comes up, it'll bring up the selection of different things that we can do. And we want to use the TCDF function, the T cumulative density function. So that's option number six on this menu. And so we'll highlight the six by using the down arrow to get there. And then we're going to choose enter. And then it's going to ask us what our lower bound is, our upper bound is, and then our degrees of freedom. So first off, uh, we have to know what tail test we're doing. We're doing a right tail test with this. So if we're doing a right tail test, um, our, our test statistic is the starting value. So we came up with a value of 1.813. And that's the beginning point, so that's our lower bound. And then this, this curve, since we're doing a right tail test, we're looking for the area to the right of where that, that T value is. And so we actually want to go out to infinity, but since we don't have an infinity button on here, we're just going to pick a really big number. And I usually just uh, say pick a million. So I'll type in a million here. And then in the example that we had, we had a sample size of 8. So we have to calculate our degrees of freedom. So we subtract 1 from 8, which gives us our degrees of freedom of 7. And then when we're done, we're going to paste this in. So if you have an older calculator, it'll probably say TCDF like this with a left parenthesis. And then you have to type it in, lower bound, upper bound, and then degrees of freedom separated by the comma. And the comma can be found directly above the number 7. Once you have that in there, all you do is hit enter one more time, and this will give you your corresponding p-value for that t-value for the hypothesis test.